hello, hello everybody. Out there in uh, Facebook land, Michael Davis here with my lovely daughter, uh, Bay. Bay, go ahead and say hello to all of our Facebook live viewers out there. Go ahead. Hey guys. Hey, hey, that's good, up high, up high right there. Well, uh, we got a little, uh, you know it's Saturday. I don't know if you realize that or not. Uh, Friday in the driveway, it's supposed to air on Friday. Uh, but, you know, because of the name, Friday in the driveway. But uh, sometimes on Fridays, I'm unable to do that. So when I'm unable to do it on Friday, we will be airing the program on Saturday. So Friday in the driveway on Saturday. Babe, what do you think about that? It's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> the name is, goes real smooth. It's smooth right there, right? Smooth. Babe wanted me to name the program Friday on the deck so that we could have done the program on the deck. But, uh, and that might have been a pretty good idea, but I just didn't think of it. And now it's Friday in the driveway. So we're out here, and guys, it's our driveway, and there's houses and things. We may have a train come by, uh, just whatever. And we always got our, now we usually have sweet tea. Bay, we don't have sweet tea today. You got, uh, what? what's that right there? Water. That's high quality H2O H2. right there. <laughs> high quality H2O, and I have a Diet Mountain Dew tonight. So bae, cheers to you. Let's go do a little clinker clank. All right, clinker clank. So you Facebook live watchers out there, grab you up ice cold beverage if you'd like. And uh, tonight we're gonna talk about, hang on, I got a piece of ice in my mouth, hold on. <laughs> Sorry bae, I had a piece of, a piece of ice in my mouth. And by the way, I just wanna encourage you guys that uh, this video, uh, live when it's all said and done hit that share button all right babe do this right here go boom hit that share button because if you share this then we'll have more viewers and uh, we're trying to get a larger following uh, so and, babe, you look so good tonight thank you for joining us thank you okay good deal hey tonight we're gonna talk about a hot topic I got something we want I want to talk about and that's profanity that's talking dirty often referred to as cussing. Cuss word. Cuss words. Do what? Cuss words. Yeah, babe, what do you think about that? What's your feelings as we kick off this topic about uh, cuss words? I think it's a pretty good topic to go on because like everybody cusses and they think it's all right when it's really not. So what you're saying, when you say everybody cusses, what are you well, talking about? Well, not like everybody, but mostly people will do it and stuff. Yeah? Because I don't think dogs have ever cussed, right? Mostly it's people. Yeah. Who, you know, we got a couple of cats, Lucy. I've never heard them cuss before. <laughs> so I think you're right. It's mostly people uh, that, that use profanity. Babe, why do you think people use profanity? Why do you think people cuss? Just to... Ah! <laughs> do you think people... Hey, do you think people might use profanity if... <laughs> did you say what he just did? <laughs> Don't do that to your kids. Well, see, babe, is that maybe if, if that's a circumstance where you might use profanity sometimes, you get scared or something like that happens? I wouldn't use profanity in that situation. <laughs> Obviously not. She didn't. She did a good job. Uh, so, oh, Facebookers, let's give her a great big hand. I scared the living daylights out of her. And uh, she did oh. not even say not one cuss word. She just screamed in my ear, and I have one less <laughs> eardrum now. But uh, but good for me. But babe, you know what I'm saying? That might be a uh, a time when you know somebody might use a profanic word. And also, like if they get really angry or something, they just go and say your cuss word. Yeah, anger. Yeah. Uh, getting angry definitely uh, causes that, or is a situation where we might uh, someone might use a cuss word. I, I hear what you're saying. Well, babe, did you know that the Bible does have something to say about uh, cussing yeah. and profanity and things like that? You're supposed to help me if my mind goes blank. I was, I was like, You're I was to about me. to say it, but oh. uh, you, did you see me? Because I was like, pr pr profanity. Okay. But, okay. You but you need to help me, okay? Because yeah. we're live. This is not Memorex. This is, there's people out there watching us right now. Okay, let's go on. All right, probably at least seven people watching us right now. Okay, anyway, so if I go blank, help me. But anyway, Bay, I tell you what I want you to do. If you wouldn't mind, read that passage right there in Ephesians. It's found in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Ephesians 4, 29. Bay, what's it have to say? 
Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouth, but only such as is good for building up, as, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. All right, that it may give grace, it says, to those who hear. Now, it doesn't really say, you don't see like profan the word profanity in there. You don't really see the word cussing, right? So why would you think that that passage is talking about cussing? Because, like, well, let me help you now. Uh, look, see uh, what it says. That, what's it say? Right. What's the first four words there? Or first? Let like no corrupting talk. And that's basically cuss words. Right. If so we're referring to it. Exactly. Corrupting talk. It says, don't let any uh, corrupting talk come out of your mouth. And so, if someone said that, then your mind automatically goes to oh, cuss words. You're right. Right. Because <laughs> there's more than. Corrupt talk is not just cussing. Oh, yeah, it's like. Weird. But cussing does include, you know, cussing is corrupt talk. And right here, Paul in Ephesians, he, he's saying to the church at Ephesus, he's saying, hey, as a body of believers, as people who follow Jesus Christ, let the things that come out of your mouth not be things that are going to tear down or going to bring uh, uh, maybe cussing. Don't let things uh, draw people away from from God, but let your talk, it says, may it, it says that it may give grace to those who hear. Uh, so what, what grace is and what grace means to, to followers of Christ is that that's God's riches at Christ's expense. That's what Jesus did on Calvary's cross so that we might have everlasting life. So in essence, what Paul is telling the church at Ephesus here is as you're communicating the truth about Jesus and his great love, let the things that come out of your mouth glorify him and draw people to that grace and not draw people away from that grace. And also, um, without, you know, it makes your character a whole lot better. Makes your character better? Makes, like, people don't want to be around people who cuss. Hmm. I like it. Time, so. I like it. And it makes you look a little, it shows great character, I think. Yeah, it shows that you have character when you abstain like from a that. Good person. I like it. Like you I like want to it. be around them more because they're cussing. I like it. Um, those are the kind of people you want to hang out with or people that, that have good character is what you're saying. I like it. I like it. One more verse, babe. Go ahead and read for us. Uh, read what Colossians chapter 3 verse 8 says. But now you must put them all away. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, and absence talk. Obscene. Obscene. Sorry. Obscene. Obscene talk from your mouth. Obscene. Obscene. Yeah, so obscene talk. And obscene talk, that's cussing. That's talking about things that are obscene, that are dirty, uh, that don't bring glory to God, so to speak, right? Yep. So right here, Paul again, talking to the church at Colossae, he says, these are the things that you need to put away if you're going to follow Christ, follow Christ, but put these things away. It says anger and wrath, malice and slander, and then it says obscene talk. So you know what, babe, and those seven Facebook viewers out there? <laughs> or more. <laughs> uh, anyway, what this is saying is, is that if we're going to be a follower of Christ, then what we say ought to reflect what's in our heart. And truth of the matter is that that's, that's the truth. What we allow in, into our life is what is going to come out in the way that we live our life, and that includes the things that we say. I told that him. Earlier. Go ahead. You you say it the way you said. What comes in comes out. All right. And what Carrie said. That's my lovely wife, and whom I'm well pleased. Uh, what Carrie said is, when you dip the bucket in the well, what's in the well comes out in the bucket. Yep. Uh, I don't think we need to say anything more. <laughs> I think that pretty much sums it up right there, right? Sums it up, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, good. Hey, so guys, hey, just, uh, you know, guard your heart and guard your tongue. And uh, if you want to uh, be a follower of Christ, one more thing I want to share with you is Matthew 12, 36. It says, I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. So, you know what? When the day of judgment comes, God remembers and God knows what we're saying. And uh, so I just encourage you. I challenge you. 
to uh, let those things that come out of your mouth be things that encourage one another and not discourage one another. And uh, you know what? Profanity, cussing, bad words, they're not necessary. They really kind of make you look stupid. All right? Make you look ignorant. And it's just an extra word to say. Right. It's pointless. Yeah. So... All right, well, guys, that's it. Hey, thanks for joining Bay and I on our in our driveway right here. This, this is our vehicle. This is our driveway, and Bay and I are going to run in the house there and probably going to grab a strawberry or two. Uh, maybe it looks like I need to refill on Diet Mountain Dew. Uh, just want to encourage you guys to be sure and hit, Bay, do it with me. Be sure and hit that share button, all right, and share this video so that we can... Uh, uh, have other viewers and I'm gonna have other special guests uh, I'm lining up some other guests to join me right here on the set of Friday in the driveway uh, so share the video and uh, you guys have a great rest of your night and uh, baby you want to say goodbye to anybody goodbye guys have a good night all right you guys have a good night